up, guys? How you guys doing? So yeah, man. Um, so um, on this video here, what I'll be doing for you guys, I'll be to, I'll be showing you guys how to how to sync your thing. Say you have a vocal and you want to sync it to your beat and all those things there. So I'll just be showing you that basically. Um, um, with this with this particular video here, I'll be assuming that like I mean, you just say you work on a remix and you know the BPM and whatever of the song. So. That's what I'll be working with here. I mean, if you're going to be recording the vocal from scratch and everything else, then that's the artist is on you to do that. So I won't show you that part there because I haven't worked with vocals yet. I haven't recorded an artist yet, like vocals and everything else. So yeah, um, basically, okay, cool. Let's say, let me just quickly open the beat. No. So you want to open up your beats. I got a request to do this video here. So yeah, so I'm going to teach you guys that and then yeah. Um, so this is like a beat that I was just working on, so it sounds like this. So I was just bored, but anyway, let's, the focus thing, the, I'll just focus, focus on the, let's cut the keys out and let's focus on this pattern here, which sounds like that, right? So cool. So um, basically what you want to do when you're doing this process is you want to, Obviously, you want to open up your, your vocal, whatever vocal it is. So you want to go to, say here, say choose a slot. Obviously, like you're going to use Edison. I normally use Edison. I use Edison all the time, actually. And then choose your vocal. So let's say you have a vocal already in mind. You've, you've downloaded the, the whatever vocal you're given. And then um, you want to use it. So let's just wait for this thing to open up. It's a bit slow. But basically, the gist of it is you want to find the BPM of your, of your a cappella or vocal, find the BPM, and then you also you want to know the key, and then just you're done. But knowing the key is just, it's, it's, you, 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 you're going to make a beat and then fit it around that vocal. So you're going to work your beat if, you're, if the vocals or whatever, the song or the original song was a E minor, and then you're going to make sure that your beat is also working from that key. But basically, what you want to do is you want to find. You want to find the BPM. That's the most important thing. Make sure that's at the same same BPM as a thing. It's almost like mixing, man. You know, for those of you that DJ and everything else, it's almost like mixing. You want to make sure that the vocal is in line with um, with uh, with the beat. You know. So let's see. Let's find something that. Uh, let's see. I want to find like a full vocal that's actually gonna work. So let's do. Uh, okay, let's take this one here. You see, this one already has an acapella a, a thing, already has a BPM of its own. So let's just open it up. Say open. That's basically all you want to do, guys. It's not, it's really not that complex. Say open, and then the BPM is already there. If the BPM wasn't there, what you do is you you click you right click here where the title is where it says title. Right click. This is gonna pop up for you. When this pops up, you go here. Where it says tempo BPM, you, you go there and you type it in yourself. So you type in the BPM yourself. You also have an option of tapping the BPM. I don't know, I've never really used that option of tapping the BPM, but you also have an option of like tapping and just like, like, ka, 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 ka. And then obviously, you're gonna try and like sync like where the BPM of the vocal is. Once you've done that, your vocal is basically ready. You, you have your vocal ready. Drag it, say, let's drag the whole vocal, let's say. What you want to do is, I normally just zoom in and make sure that it starts exactly in the beginning. So, for example, like this, I'll just take it from there, like that. And then drag the vocal, um, put it here as, as a thing, as a sound, here separately. Once you've done that, click on it, come here, go to resample, and then choose pro default. What pro default basically means is that you know when it's on resample, it's gonna sound like it's going. It's going to sound like it's, it's um you fast forwarded it, fast forwarded it. It's not gonna be. In, it's not gonna sound the way it's supposed to sound. The actual vocal. It's gonna sound like it's on fast forward or whatever. It's gonna be like you know that effect. So when you put it on pro default, you're basically saying that after after stretching and everything else and fitting this this vocal into the BPM of the song, it must sound like the original vocal. That's what pro, pro default means. So what you're doing here, you want to click on pro default to make it sound the way it should sound. And then you want to right click on time and say auto detect. What you're doing now here is you want to link the BPM of the vocal 
to the to the people of the song. So the song right now is on 115, right? And we know the vocal was on what was on 126. So now you want to make sure that this now goes in line with the song itself. So the BPM of 126, you want to slow down the vocal enough so that it fits into this BPM here. So then you just right click here, auto detect, and then it's going to show you the 126 embedded. That's the one that you typed in, right? So it's going to write 126 embedded. If there was no, you didn't type in anything, it was going to show you a random number and it's probably never going to fit in properly into your beat. So you want to type in and then just click on that and then it's going to stretch it. Now it's busy stretching it out so that when you do use the vocal, you all go and you sort it, right? So let's just wait for it to do that and then I think it should be done soon. So there it is, it's busy stretching now. So the main key thing, guys, you just need to know you whatever song, whatever thing that you're using, you need to know the BPM of that of that song. That's what you need to know. If you have that, then you can pretty much work around it and do whatever you want to do with it. I mean, sometimes some vocals, for example, like this might be a vocal and it's complete, but you might find that it was just put together very quickly so that like so you can say it to somebody else. So maybe this part might come in before the actual this part here might come in before the actual part where it's supposed to come in in the beat of the song so you might slice it up and then start with this part then slice this part and put it separately and this part here as well you also have an option of doing that so let's do this and let's take um let's do this and let's put it where let me try and find an empty pads and let's try and do this and then there you go so your vocal should sound like this right now you understand so let's switch off this and this and this the beat sounds like this sorry right so now let's see how we're going to fit this in if we put it in the beginning what happens let's see let's try putting the beginning exactly like this let's go simple so you can see that fits in perfectly like that obviously some songs um some vocals they don't start exactly on the first kick beat whatever you might have to put it here or you might have to do this here and move this around and maybe put it there or whatever you know but the basic part of aligning the vocal making sure that your vocal fits into the beat and the bpm that's all you do guys so you just find the bpm of the, of the song and then edison Quickly go revise everything. Edison. Sorry, man. That's not Edison. Edison. You go there where your vocal is. Load your vocal. Boom. Right click. Remember, you don't click. You right click. Where, the where it says title, right click. Type in the BPM. Accept. Highlight. Drag it here. And then once you've dragged it here, click on it. Pro default so that it sounds the same. Let's do resample. I want to see what it's going to sound like. Let's do this so it's not exactly the same as it should be let's actually say none it sounds like this sounds still original but like yeah so pro default and then you want to do the auto detect thing and then select the one that you typed in right um what happens if you don't know the ppm of the song you can try the tap method to find the ppm you can tap it onto this thing where's this tap thing uh, there's some tap thing somewhere, I don't know where, it used to be somewhere here, where you can literally tap until you find and you can sort of guess the BPM. I think it's also somewhere around here, I'm just not too sure where it is, guys. I haven't done this in like a long ass time, man. Uh, let's see. Nope, it's not there. I don't remember where it is. But it's supposed to be somewhere around here, man. Um, there used to be like a tap option and then you just like tap and you like, you know, with your mouse click and then until it sort of like aggregates and finds uh, the, the ppm but anyway if you have virtual dj you can load your a cappella vocal onto virtual dj and then virtual dj will give you the will basically tell you what the ppm of that song is so you might round it off you might like say 121.2 122 point something blah blah then you can just sum around it off if you feel like rounding it off is not really working try put all those digits together and then see if that works you know but that's basically it man so yeah let me know if you guys need help with anything else um yeah man like subscribe comment facebook twitter soundcloud whatsapp follow all the chairs there shop shop my fridge